honestly, I don't even like, I didn't even know that he had autism until he had told me about it or until I saw his Instagram page where he said, uh, filmer, photographer, living with autism and I don't let it keep me down. I'm like, that is the coolest thing ever. Like, let's start there. Uh, the fact that he gets out and rips and you really don't, I don't notice it at all when we're skiing. Uh, when he's when he's in work mode with the camera, yeah, it's all focus and, and you know, he's flexible, which is something I know that some autistic people struggle with is being able to be flexible and move around a bunch. Um, so I would say that it decreases and or disappears for sure. Scott seems like that's what he really loves doing and seems so happy whenever he's skiing and filming. It's sick. One thing that really stands out, Scott films great, but his editing definitely stands out a lot to me. I can look at an edit, and if Scott edited it, I'll know it right away. Most filmers, if you're a film, and you got a hand that shakes like this when you're trying to film, more than likely you're gonna probably, you know, give up on it. But uh, Scooter pushed through it, and like now we're out there filming, dude isn't shaking at all, totally fine. I mean, you hear it in his voice that he's obviously like got through it and is like getting stronger and everything. So it's awesome to see that. But what stands out to me is Scott is like non-stop filming anything anyone always hungry to film it's his passion it's what he loves to do you know i think the filming having a camera in his hands skis on, on his feet really uh you know makes him kind of just everything else floats away or disappears Yeah, dog. <laughs>